Well, the State Library of New South Wales uh, heard about our activities uh, with Visi, the social media analytics tool, um, and uh, thought, well, this could also be a, a great device for the, for the library to extend its mandate in terms of collecting uh, content about everyday life in the state. So instead of starting with newspapers and uh, television shows um, and radio transcripts and diaries, to look at uh, the online data, so um, websites and social media uh, discussions, which might be discussing everyday um, aspects of life. The user interface has been developed uh, by staff at the State Library and CSIRO to make sure that it's not only a, a, a very technical research tool, but also one that has um, an interface that anybody can sit down and look at and understand what's going on in the back end. Uh, one's focused on geographical information as a way of being able to see what's happening with the back end. So you can look at a map of New South Wales and see where events and things are occurring across New South Wales. The other data visualisation is based around um, emotions and it is a live feed. It updates every five seconds with a new uh, petal on a flower to show the emotions of the people in New South Wales based on the words that they're using in their Twitter feed. So whether they're happy or sad or excited, those are all generated live and over the course of an hour the flower petals fill up with um, a visualisation of those emotions and each emotion has a slightly different colour. The emotion flower was based on some earlier work that we did at CSIRO Data 61 in collaboration with the Black Dog Institute. So the social media data uh, was uh, collected using a number of different words relating to emotion and um, and then analyzed and summarized and presented using uh, an emotion hierarchy uh, which gives rise to those different categories. So you've got joy and sad and each of those will break down into the different uh, query terms. We're really reaching the end where we're migrating all of the data that's been collected since 2012 and this includes millions of files into the library's own servers and so we'll start managing all of that information here in the library rather than in par as a partnership with the CSRO who developed the Visi tool. And once that data is all moved here and automated, um, we'll be able to manage it into the future as a library project. To me as a social media analytics researcher, uh, particularly in light with the experience that we've had with the State Library of New South Wales, uh, digital preservation is about um, capturing that ephemeral content, um, the social media data that would, would otherwise disappear and we would lose track of, of public thoughts on, on um, various key topics of the day. And so being able to summarize some of those key aspects um, for prosperity is, is what digital preservation means to me.